Yo, what is up everyone? So today I'm gonna share with you some VS Code extensions that I use in my code editor. And I know a lot of people have been asking me which ones I've been using. So here I'm gonna share with you just a few that I have used. And these are more of the general, I'd say sort of extensions that you can utilize. Doesn't matter if you're doing HTML and CSS or if you're gonna use React, etc. Now obviously there are a lot more, I'd say specific extensions depending like if you're using react only but for that i can leave those in another video and then also comment down below any other extension you guys use and i can check them out as well but pretty much on vs code what you're going to do is ho hover over this little extensions icon right here on the left side and then click on that and depending if they update the design i'm not sure in the future but pretty much for now it's right here to access it and then here you can see you can already search for extensions so the first one and I have open right now this is a basic HTML uh, CSS file and pretty much what I'm going to show you first is this little rainbow indent right here so you can see here there's like indent but there's a uh, like a rainbowish color and pretty much it's just saying like each each different color is essentially a space so this one if you go ahead and type in indent and then rainbow so if I type well, I'll type it out you can see pretty much is the first one that pops up and then you can click on here and install so this one is older watts and 1.1 mil plus downloads and then you can see here on the uh, screenshot that it's basically the exact same thing on my code editor so that's the first one i'm going to show you here and then there's like additional stuff too if you want to mess around with it but i just straight up and i just installed mine now let's go to the next one. So let me show you real quick. So for instance, on like any div, right? If I were to click on it, notice how you can see the ending, the closing div is right there. And then like the H2, the closing tags there. And then if you have like a crazy, like, like right here, you can see that it's all the way down here. So this one's like a smaller section, but like, let's say you have one that's like, you can't see the closing div until I scroll down all the way to the bottom and you can see it's right there. So this is super helpful, especially if you have like a smaller screen and you're just like, where the heck does this end? Or if you're like following along a video and they have like crazy amounts of divs and the next you know it, you're like, you just missed one, now your whole code's messed up. So this one, if you go to search, just type in highlight matching tag. And this one pops up right here. And this one's Vin cast. Was that casualty 500k plus downloads and then pretty much you can see we have this one here so this one's pretty uh self-explanatory nothing crazy there and then the next one let me show you another one so let's just go ahead and search this and just type in path intel and it should pop up as the uh first one i'm not too sure if there's like similar ones but this one's pretty famous by christian 3.6 mil when i'm filming this and pretty much you can read the first line. It just auto completes font names. So you can see here that it basically, it has like a little uh, like GIF video showing you what it's pretty much doing. But this one's pretty basic too, just auto completes font names there. And you can use it, it doesn't matter if you have it or not, but you can check that one out. And then the other one too, so let me show you, like on a CSS file, normally depending on your theme, all your brackets are pretty much the same color, right? But since I have this extension installed, they are essentially color coded. So let me actually, I can go here and show you, type in bracket pair colorizer. So they have two versions. This is version one, and then I just downloaded the second one because it looks the exact same, but just updated. And pretty much, depending on your theme, it'll change, but, uh, before I had this, all my brackets were just like sky, like light blue, like the same color as this media word. But now when I added it, they changed the actual CSS styling with purplish looking brackets. And then the actual like wrapping it query right here with yellow. So I can tell like which one's which. So that one's pretty cool. And then also if you use uh, brackets like in other places, then this is definitely super helpful. And that was the fourth one. The fifth one, this is probably the most popular. I'm sure if you've watched any video, people have this, but uh, I just had to tell you I have this one too. 
and this prettier code formatter 8.7 mil and there's a bunch of tutorials where it's like they go super in debt and make it like crazy like configurations and stuff like that but uh this one i'm just gonna show this is just pretty much it makes your code look way cleaner when you're saving and everything so you can go in and there's like a bunch of settings you can do to like customize it but i'm pretty sure most majority of you heard of this if not check it out and then you can play around with the settings and like this tab and dense etc but that one's pretty uh popular too the other one too if you're just doing like basic html css they have live server so like a right click i go open with live server which i'm sure if you've seen it before basically opens up your code on the browser and then it has essentially hot reloading where you can it like saves it whatever you type in real time it'll update it so i'm sure if you coded more than a couple weeks you probably have seen a video with this but uh basically i'm just going to show you this one just in case and the thing is yeah pretty much sure this one right here 7.6 mil downloads so super famous and you can see here we have like uh just auto load so i'm not gonna waste too much time on this one because this one's pretty uh well known but the next one i'm gonna type in and say q u o k k a so this is for like JavaScript or TypeScript, and uh, you can see here this little GIF showing it just in case. But you can see like it's auto copying essentially and showing you this. So this one might not be for everyone, but again, if you want to check it out, this one's pretty um, popular too. And then let's save the last one right here. So I'm only have eight for this video because it's not too uh, not not too many extensions. But well, you can see like my icons right here for like the uh, files or the folders are a little different from yours. You might have like a regular, like a tannish looking folder and then whatever um, icons are here. I don't even remember what the original ones look like. It's been, so, been a while, but uh, pretty much you just go to extensions and then you can just type in uh, VS Code icons. And I think it was, yeah, it should be this first one. And you can see here 6.2 mil, so quite a lot. And then uh, if you go down here, you can see like the uh, all these fancy like icon things too. And then one thing too, I have material theme, uh, Pale Knight High Contrast as my theme too. So you might have to actually install like material theme for the, uh, but this is a different icon too. Material theme icons, here's another one. But again, there's a couple um, extensions I have to look through which ones I have. But basically you guys can see that those are majority ones main the main ones would be like the indent and then like this auto tag like part right there and the brackets but the rest i guess you could say them kind of like uh just personal preference but let me know in the comments below uh, additional extensions that are way cooler or even better to make um, your coding experience much easier so comment those below i'll check them out and then also comment down your favorite extension and we'll see which one is uh, super popular out there but aside from that if you guys want to subscribe go down below hit that subscribe button Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Peace.